right here I have another one of the principal plants that's used in uh, making the Amazonian brew ayahuasca. Uh, this is the Psychotria viridis. Uh, the leaves on this plant are boiled along with the ahe vine uh, to create the, uh, uh, the hallucinogenic brew that they use in South America. Uh, this plant also grows like a weed here in Hawaii. It thinks it's in the Amazon. This is the DMT containing plant which is mixed with the ahe vine which releases the DMT and makes it orally active. Um, not exactly what I'd call a Friday night party drug because you usually end up puking everywhere after you consume it. Uh, it tastes like hell and uh, it uh, might even end up crapping in your pants. Uh, and then you'll lose your mind. Again, another one of the surprises when uh, we put this in here, and that was that the plant here apparently reliably sets seeds in this climate. I have quite a bit of fruit forming right here. The berries are ripening out, and so we can do some propagation. The plant grows readily from cuttings, but it also grows from seedlings. Sometimes when I move plants out of their native ranges, plant them in a new location, I find that they uh, don't want to flower, or maybe don't want to produce seeds or fruit. It's not unusual, especially with plants from the Andes. Now, these are not from the Andes, they're from the Amazon. And uh, they seem to think Puna is home because boy, oh boy, do they grow good around here. Puna is well known for its capojo papayas. Um, we have some really good banana cropping around here, some pretty decent coffee, and an awful lot of house plants uh, being grown in orchids in this region. But uh, one of the new crops coming on strong around here is Amazonian shamanic herbs.